Hey guys, hope you're having an awesome day and welcome back to some more Sims 4. So, if you check the comments of the last video, which I'm going to quickly do now for you guys, the last one was obviously James getting his first ever kiss. I dropped a comment in the description just here where you can grab the updated Sims family in all their glory. So this will be Ali, Claire and all of the kids. Here is how we look. Here we're both holding the twins, which I just think is like the cutest thing ever. You can grab the whole family there and play with them yourselves. You can download them using that link. Do not forget if you're going to do that to head up to my description and make sure you're getting this custom content link or else we're going to look very, very strange. But I thought we'd take a look at some of the comments on the last video too. Uh, Ginny said it was pretty hilarious when we saw James's boobs. I mean, he was definitely not meant to have those and we've rectified that now. He now has a man's body. Because that was kind of weird and it definitely soured his date a little bit because Salma walked away before James could ask her to be his girlfriend, which might actually work out quite well because Anushka and actually a lot of other people have said that they are on Team Jayla, which is James and Layla. Layla is the girl that looks very much like Princess Leia from Star Wars. She's got the buns, she was very pretty and actually James took very much an interest in her in the big crazy group date that happened last episode so he may just drop her a little call this episode guys but some of you guys do like the whole uh what would you call it J jalma jalma i guess james and salma so what i might do is get james kind of chatting a little bit with layla this episode and then we'll let him decide for himself guys kawi pikachu says that we're replacing jess with emily first the bunnies and then i accidentally did call emily jess if they have the same hairstyle as a toddler. Guys, I'm not replacing them. It's just fun to focus on different characters each episode. Jess will still get lots of attention, don't you worry. And I actually think it's kind of sweet that she's got the same kind of hairstyle and goals as her big sister. Like, little sisters aspire to their big sisters. So I think it's pretty cool. Swagger189476 also made this little poem, which I thought was so cute. God has a pen, Claire has a highlighter, God draws the world and Claire makes it brighter. I thought it was really cute, so I thought it would feature you as well. So don't forget, if you want to get featured in the comments at the beginning of the video, to drop a comment in this video so I can do a little recap before we record the next one. And guys, let's play some more Sims 4. So guys, you remember last episode, we put together the cute little twins room, which I still absolutely love. Although, by the looks of it, Emma does not love it so much because she has thrown paint all over the floor. Like, Emma's literally a little bit of a wild child. I also don't know whether she's waking, uh, it's 2 a.m. in the morning. I think we left it last time. I actually think we left it last time where James had just come back from his date. These guys were having some sort of crazy little dance party downstairs. I have no idea why. But as a result, everybody's up and about and doing stuff and it's 2 a.m. in the morning. On a Wednesday night. A Wednesday early hours of the morning, actually. You guys need to get to sleep, okay? James has just stood there feeling flirty. No, go to sleep, okay? I think little baby Emma's going to sleep, which is great, but... Oh my gosh, we can't even put Emily to sleep because she's so hungry. Okay, okay. I think... I think, to be fair, Dad may be taking her up to the high chair. Oh, Mum, somebody, somebody please take us to the high chair. You can't go and sit in the high chair on your own. Where are you going? Why are you going outside, Emily? Look how angry she is. She's angry because she's hungry. Can I just get her some food out the fridge and just kind of put it in front of her? Because everybody's being a little bit useless, guys. So Ali is finally feeding her, but she's in the wrong high chair, which makes me like unnecessarily angry. I'm like, she needs to be in her bunny high chair in her half of the room. Look, she's encroaching on the wrong half of the room, but she's really hungry. So she needs to eat. Uh, the annoying thing is I need to like keep an eye on them when they're eating because otherwise the parent just like stops their eating halfway through. Luckily Ali's been pretty good and he's washing the floor that Emma messed up. Little little rebellious Emma like she looks so cute doing her little sleeping but there's a darker side to her. The side that wants to throw paint everywhere. Okay Emily's all finished. Can we just directly put her into bed now? It's so early in the morning. Oh look even Ali. Right okay. Oh my gosh everything's broken. Everything's broken. Okay, give her a bubble bath and then read her to sleep, okay? And then that should be done. And then hopefully she's gonna sleep for a really long time. I want the twins to be on the same, like uh, the same time zone because otherwise it's even harder trying to parent them. Really hard. Also, this is gross, this is gross. It's so, it's so difficult, it's so difficult having two little twin limbs. But we'll get there guys, we'll get there. So poor Ali is having to parent super late he's given her a cute little bubble bath 
But I think Claire actually has work tomorrow or today. Yes, she does. She has some work to do and Ali works night, so it's different. Look, Emily Compton 93 is now following you. Hello, Emily. Enjoy, enjoy all the sim stuff. Enjoy all the, the stuff I've put on the gallery for you guys. So actually, while I'm here, one thing that you guys said that we should add on is uh, an aspiration reward from the reward store, which will reduce our bills. Now, Claire and Ali don't really have that much satisfaction, but little Jamesykins, because he has such a good childhood, actually does. And the reward perk is, let me see if I can find it, frugal. So it costs 2,000, so it's a pretty expensive reward, but a frugal Sims household has reduced bills. So I feel kind of mean doing this because it's like a James wish, but you know what? We have to do it, we have to do it because the household bills are ridiculous and apparently nobody is paying them. I've asked them to pay them so many times. Ali, I know you're tired and I know you're vexed, but you're gonna have to pay these bills. You are gonna have to pay these bills or else how will we ever get a pool house? Oh, so little Jess and Emma are playing some dolls together before school. I also want to focus on Jess's aspirations because she is a social butterfly. So she wants to, she's already made a best friend forever. Who is her best friend? She gets on pretty well with the whole of the family, but I think Claire is probably her bestest friend. Yeah, look, best friends. But she also wants to achieve level five of the social skill. I don't know if she'll get that from playing dolls with her little sister because she can't actually talk yet, but maybe she can. Maybe she can, at least she's like doing some good family bonds there. Emma's a little bit like just scared, staring here and jumping up and down because she's a little bit crazy, guys. She is a little bit crazy and her attention is pretty low. So Claire's downstairs cooking some breakfast for everybody now, but then she definitely needs to go upstairs and give the little kitty wink some attention, I'm thinking. Oh, look at her. She's like huggling her big unicorn. So freaking cute. Okay, Claire. She's taken ages to do anything. Oh, she's ill again. I can't see anything wrong with her. There's nothing all over her skin. But I have a feeling if she's not careful, she's going to be ill pretty soon. But you know what? You still need to look after your kids. I thought you should be at work by now. Oh, yeah. Work in an hour. Oh, okay, okay. Ali, I know you've not had that much sleep. But you're gonna have to do some parenting, I'm afraid. You're gonna have, look, the toddlers need attention. And they also need to like learn to talk and walk. But hopefully when James comes home from school, he's gonna be in a good mood because I want to invite round little Star Wars fan Layla and see if those two might hit it off. Just kind of see what sort of mood they'll get in together, whether they'll have some nice little chats together. You never know. It could be the start of something very beautiful. The power company has switched off the power to your house. Pay your bills to get it switched back on. Ali, what are you doing? I told you to pay the bills. 12,000 pounds. Oh my gosh. Okay, definitely, definitely pay those bills, please. Oh my gosh. Emily just woke up in a bad mood and then destroyed the dollhouse, which made, oh, it made Emma cry. She literally just woke up and straight up smashed the dollhouse. And look at poor baby Emma. Oh, that's so mean. That is literally so mean. Ali still hasn't paid these bills. Like he's stressing me out so hard now. Pay the freaking bills, okay? And she, even she's sad about the dollhouse. If you're sad about it, why did you destroy it? Can I, can I fix it or I can repair it? Okay, I'll get Ali to repair it. But first of all, pay the bills. Ali, you're gonna pay the bills in front of my face right now, okay? Where are you going? Pay the bills. Are they paid? Can we get our power back, please? Finally, we have some power back in the house. Because that's ridiculous. They they were just not not ever going to have any power again since nobody wanted to pay the freaking bills. But they're paid now. And Ali is going to fix the poor dollhouse. Okay. Lil James is home. Lil James? He's not Lil anymore, guys. But he is home. And it is time to give Layla a call. So, hopefully this is going to go well. I'm going to ask her just to come around here. You know, safe ground. Safe ground. We're not going to make it a date. This is just a how well do we get along type situation. There she is. So when they went on their big group date, they chatted for a good while and it seemed to go pretty well. He's getting a shower, getting himself all ready for her. His fun is pretty low, so maybe they can just kind of uh, watch some TV or something together. 
And maybe this will go well. I'm going to kind of just leave them and see how they go together. I'm hoping they're going to do well. She says she's coming over. Perfect. James, go for a quick wee first. No looking after the kids. This is all about you. So here she is. Here she is. So here is who you guys want James to be with. I don't know if it's because of the Star Wars. Um, can we invite her in? Don't spread any rumors. Okay, come in and just be nice to her. Compliment her appearance. Brighten her day. Don't, she better not leave. Don't leave, okay? Give her a pep talk. And basically, like, I guess she is meant to look like she is um, Princess Leia. Oh, hey, Kit Kat. Uh, she's meant to look like she's Princess Leia from Star Wars. But those are some interesting shoes I can see right here, guys. Some very That's interesting true. shoes yeah, going yeah, along right there. I mean, they seem to be having their conversation outside of the house for some reason. But okay, I'm just going to leave them to do that. Okay, don't tease her. You could tell her an urban legend, though. Can you just kind of... You don't want to be doing any of this weird whining and teasing. Can you just kind of get to know each other a little bit better? So James has learned the following traits about Layla. She's a bookworm. So she really likes reading. She just walked away from him as well, and he's just like marched back over like, No, we will be, we will be friends. Let me show you this up on my phone. Compliment her outfit. Basically, lie to her. <laughs> and then give her some flattery as well. I don't want to just force them into a flirtatious conversation. I kind of want to see more if it just happens naturally. But let's just check in on how everybody else is doing. A little Jess is reading Emma to sleep. They're in the wrong bed. But still, oh my gosh, look, look how angry Emily looks about it. She actually looks like a little demon child. Emily, no. But this is very cute. I'm enjoying this interaction. Okay, back on James. Back on James. This seems to be going well. They seem like they're in a good, happy mood. He's feeling very energized. He's got a deep connection, which is always a good sign. He had an exciting day at school. He's just happy. He's just all around really, really happy around her. He's going to whisper about his crush. I don't even know who his crush is. I guess it's maybe Selma. They're lovebirds. This is shaping up to be a beautiful bromance, but I don't know if he whispers this to her, it's going to ruin stuff with Layla. She's also, she's just a high school student. Oh, I thought it said she was a barmaid as well. Oh my gosh, where are you going? No, Layla, Layla, come back. Layla, why is your hair changed to, to black? Your hair was brown a minute ago. Actually, actually love her hair like this. Can we talk about how cute that hair is? Don't, don't go away. No, come back. Come back, don't run away from me. Oh, she's back, she's back. No, you know what? I know this is Star Wars hair. I much, much prefer the black hair. I think that looks a million, million times cooler. <gasps> what are they doing? Look at this. Little tapping of each other. Oh, no, they didn't like that. Oh, what are they doing? I thought like the whole tapping thing is like a bit of reverse psychology. Like they're actually flirting. <gasps> no, stop doing that. Oh my gosh, look what he's drinking. Look what he's drinking. Look at this. This is his Insta fun potion. I don't know why he had to go inside for it. I hope she comes back when she's finished jogging. <gasps> I should really get going now. No! Layla! Layla, what are you doing to me? Okay, it's fine. We can try it again. We can try it again very soon. Okay, he's going to make himself a little sack lunch for tomorrow. It's a veggie and hummus sandwich. Sounds really good. I'm pretty hungry. I could go for that right now, actually. Oh, they, I came back upstairs to see what everyone was doing. Ali's playing with the dollhouse on his own. But these three are having a cute little uh, chit chat together. Oh, I wanted to try and view them, but I go through the wall. There we go. So, like, Claire, Emma, and. No, Emily, sorry. And Jessica are all having a cute little chit chat together, which I thought was really sweet. You guys said as well. Um, Claire should spend more time with Emily and because uh, she's a girl and that Ali should spend more time with Emma because she's a tomboy but honestly guys it doesn't work like that like I was a tomboy when I was younger so if anything Emma should be spending lots of time with Claire and my mum also was a tomboy when she was younger so it's not like I don't like I don't know if, like I don't know how much I love the term tomboy because it's not it's like putting certain activities into a box and saying these are boy activities and these are girl activities and I just think anybody should like you can just do any activities. Things don't have to be boy or girly. And you don't necessarily learn boy things from boys and girly things from girls. So I don't want to do that, guys. I don't want to pigeonhole them like that. I don't think that's how things work. I don't think that's a fair way to do it. 
But I'm still very happy for these guys to have some beautiful interactions together. In fact, Claire, why don't you read her a nice little toddler book now? Look at good old Ali clearing away the plates because Claire just dumped hers on the floor very annoyingly. Oh my gosh, guys, I've just realized <gasps> we still have the toddler beds. We definitely don't need those, which means we can turn this back into being like a walk-in wardrobe. <gasps> We've got all this on the wall still as well. It's still like really kiddified in there. Okay, that's a little bit better. It's still kind of dark in there, so I'm just gonna put some little groovy wall lights on our cool little uh, like walk-in wardrobe. There we go. Didn't we have the TV sort of like uh, here? And the plant was like by the side of it maybe? Or maybe the plant was over here? Yeah, I think the plant was in the corner like this. <gasps> We've got our grown-ups room back again, guys. The grown-ups room has returned and we don't have- to Oh god, no, not yet. No, it hasn't. A cheeky little dino on the wall there. <gasps> and this! No, I, I can't grab it. No! Ah! There we go. Beautiful grown-ups room back again. Because no more babies will be had in this house by Claire and Ali. Like, that's it. They are done. Look how tired she is. But the twins are asleep in bed. They're in the wrong beds. I'm aware of that, guys. I'm aware of that. But at least they're in bed. Little Jamesy Bob is going up to bed. I'll tell you what. Why don't he just kind of be pretty smooth? Why don't he just send little Layla a text being like, uh, Oh, I had a really good day with you today. Really want to hang out again soon, okay? And then he can go to sleep. Oh my gosh, James is getting a call at this time. <gasps> you want to come over and hang out? Sama, it's 1.30 a.m. Did she hear? Did she hear on the grapevine that James invited over Layla? And now she's like panicking so hard. She's running. She has literally run around to the house at 1 a.m. in the morning. No, nearly 2 a.m. in the morning. Guys, this is, this is interesting. Salma definitely does not want to get left out in the cold when it comes to James's romance. I mean, what does she have to say? What are you doing come around at this time? No, don't just go to bed, James, okay? Find out why she's here. Do some gossiping. I mean, guys, look at the space. Look at the space between them. There's a lot of space between them. However, we've learned that Salma is cheerful. Cheerful is always a nice trait to have in a girlfriend. Always a nice trait to have, but oh, is Kate is coming closer. He's telling her a secret about light bulbs. She's like, oh, wow. I don't know. I, maybe she's found out, guys. Maybe she's found out. But this is, this is like really late to be coming round. She's, she's telling him a secret joke about rockets and hearts. What does that even mean? Okay, guys. He, he's going to have to go to bed because he's pretty tired. But why doesn't he need you? Just a quick... A quick little cheeky bit. We could become best friends forever with her. That's so nice. Let's become best friends forever with her. Give her a little, uh, a little cheeky kiss goodnight. Mess around. What does that mean? Oh, look. Best friends forever. He's pumped about that. He's going to be so tired. What are they going to do? Where are they going? Where are they going? What's happening? He snuck a girl in- He's sneaking a girl into his bedroom at night! James! <gasps> what is happening? You're teenagers! <gasps> <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Guys! What is happening right here? I didn't even know you could do this as teen sims. He's... <laughs> I'm shocked! I am shocked to my very core! And then he's going straight to sleep afterwards. He's got school today. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys! He got fireworks. He got fireworks from his mess around and then he just went straight to sleep. <gasps> What's she doing? What's she doing? She's got dressed. <gasps> She's going to sleep as well. He got out of the bed like, oh my gosh, what is happening? <gasps> He's putting his pajamas on. Oh. I can't believe this. She literally came around. They mess around. She puts her PJs on and goes to sleep in his bed. <gasps> What's his little mood from that? Pleasant fumblings. There's nothing quite like fooling around with your boyfriend or girlfriend. So because they're too young to do little woo-woos, this is what they do. 
But wow, wow, James. You had Layla around in the evening and then Salma comes around in the night for some mess rounds. What? He has shocked me. He has shocked me with his antics, guys. With poor little Jess next door. Look at her. Waking up shocked. She's like, what is going on? What is happening? <gasps> Look at her pretty drawing, by the way, guys. Can we just appreciate this for a second? How cute is this drawing? So Jess has this cute little vet set in her room. I Oh, she can play doctor. Because it, sa it says... Oh my gosh, she's still here. She's still here. It says that you can buy this for any little sims that would like to become a doctor or vet when they grow up. But I didn't even know you could become a vet in The Sims. Like, I had no idea that was a thing. Um, but I'm gonna see. I really like the idea that she could become a vet. I'm gonna make Claire make a little sack lunch for Jess as well. So there should be two little sacky lunches in the fridge for everyone. Oh no. The toddlers are awakening. The scariest time of day. Let's get them some food ready right now. Because I don't... Oh, there's no food. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ali. Ali. What are you doing? If you're baking just for yourself, I'm gonna be so mad. So, so mad. Okay, we've got a little sack lunch there. Can I put that in Jess's inventory? There you go. Is it in there? Hey, there we go. Oh my gosh, okay, Emily's hungry, Emily's hungry. Claire, get upstairs and start feeding your children, okay? Let's feed, uh, give food to Emma. Ham and cheese sandwich to start the day. And then Emily can have a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Oh, they've broken it again. No, Emma, stop breaking the dollhouse and then being sad about it. Every day the dollhouse gets broken, guys. Oh my gosh, James is going to be very, very tired for his day today because he spent the whole night up fooling around with girls. Oh, James, what do you like? You're so bad. Jess is sat on the floor. Eating some chips. Kind of weird, Jess. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, Jess, you haven't done your homework. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Do it. Do your work. Oh, but she's got to go to school. Jess, no, you haven't done your homework. At least you've got a cute little veggie and hummus sandwich for, for your day. Oh, James made lunch and then he let it go off. I mean, that's very silly behavior, James. But he's going to school now. I wonder if everyone will be talking about what happened last night. I wonder if he's going to tell everyone. A gentleman never tells James, okay? Be a good, be a good boy. <gasps> a teacher caught Jessica looking at another te student's test during class and sent her to office. No, I'm sure it was a mistake or let her retake the test. Oh, we have to parent her, guys. This is a thing. We can't just let her get off with things. So she's going to have to retake the test. So her manners have decreased, but her conflict resolution has increased. Jess, no. Oh my gosh, our, our kids are just wild. They are literally just wild. Claire and poor Ali, as usual, have their work cut out. Look, Ali's reached parenting level seven. Looking after the twins all day. So Claire is bathing little Emma there. And Ali is trying to potty train. Poor little Emily here. So many people are commenting on Claire and Ali. They love playing with them. I finally found it. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Someone said the zip folder, folder isn't working. Like some of you guys have no issues with it. Other people say it isn't working. So I will make a new zip for this video, guys. So make sure you look out for that. Ali's gonna have to spend some time repairing this dollhouse yet again because they keep breaking it. Like it's a beautiful 1,500 pound dollhouse. Can you not? Like, literally, can you not, kids, okay? Oh, no. Claire's getting feverish. I swear, Claire spends so much time being ill. She looks so sad, look. I'm not quite sure if she's totally happy with life at the moment because she's always, always ill. But you can't just... You, you've you got kids. Like, there's nothing... You're going to have to just deal with it, okay? <gasps> no! No! Emily, what are you doing? Claire's going to go give her a talking to... And then we're gonna have to like help teach her to talk or something because because right now she's just being freaking naughty. Look at Claire. Oh my gosh, she's burning up. She is burning up. But you're gonna have to do some parenting, Claire. I'm so sorry. Oh, poor Claire is just kneeling in the pain to teach her to talk. Oh, guys. Oh, look how ill she is as well. Oh, I think she needs bed rest. I think that's what she's gonna have to do. 
Yeah, she needs to nap. Okay, so once she's done some teaching of talking, she is gonna go and have a little nap. She is not feeling so good. Oh, they're both getting taught to talk, guys. It's quite a long process teaching them things. Like, let's have a look at where they both are currently on their skills. Because their character values ain't doing so well. But their communication's pretty good. Imagination, to say how much they play with the dollhouse, still leaves a lot to be desired. And that's just Emma. Emily is a little bit stronger in imagination. Actually, she's learned some things a little bit faster. But not the potty training. She's definitely a little bit slower on the potty training, I'm afraid. Jessica's been working hard. She is now a great A student. Great job. James's responsibility is in range to earn the responsible trait. Ooh. James returned from high school is one of the top students. I don't know how he's pulled that off after last night, but James, well done. Like, seriously, props. I don't know how you're doing all this right now. <gasps> Jess has got a little hat on. I don't know why, but she she has a little hat on. I, do, I have literally no idea why she has come home with a little teeny tiny cap on, but she has, and you know what? I'm enjoying it, I'm enjoying it. And she's playing with her sister, which is super, super cute. Oh no, oh no. Emma is walking around being mad, very, very mad. She's coming to get some, some engagement from daddy that make her feel better, but dad's off to work. Why don't you go play dolls with these guys? They're having so much fun. Oh, little cutie pie Jess is doing her homework downstairs. If any of you guys know why she's come back with a hat on, I don't know if it's something to do with her grades at school, but it's kind, it's kind of weird, <laughs> but I'm digging it, I'm digging it. She can have the little hat on. It's Thursday night, guys. It's nearly the weekend. They've nearly got through the whole week. <gasps> and what's this? She doesn't actually... Where's the people she's meant to have met in school? Oh, man, she hates a teddy. She literally hates the teddy, but where are all her school friends? Has everyone she's met at school, like, aged up? I'm gonna have to get her to meet some friends because otherwise, who is she gonna invite around on the weekend to chat with? Okay, so Claire's read the two little toddlers to sleep. Because they were being a little bit crazy, guys. They were definitely starting to be a little bit crazy. It's really hard having toddlers. I'm not gonna lie, I'm like, quite excited for when they level up. I mean, they've got a while yet. I'm probably gonna do that a little bit sooner because they are angry, vengeful little toddlers at the moment. They smash everything and just generally be quite crazy, naughty ones. I'm quite keen for, um, for little Jessicans to get good at this whole doctoring thing. Maybe she could become a doctor or a vet. I'd love her to become a vet. So I'm going to make sure she does a little bit of that before she goes to sleep. And just basically make sure we're focusing on... Oh, wait, why did... Well, she said something awkward. Make sure we're focusing on building some of her little skill sets as well. And I really want her to make, I want her to get like a best friend outside the family. Oh my gosh, guys, 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 guys. Look who I've just spotted. Walking outside our house. I'm not sure what's going on with Selma, but I think she's getting a little bit intense. Definitely getting a little bit too intense for James, who's literally just upstairs in bed because he's tired after last night. She's getting a little bit weird. <laughs> Turning up after she knew that something had happened between those guys and then staying and fooling around. James is just as bad in the, in the, and he's just as bad here, but I kind of want to see where this whole Layla thing's going, so I don't know. I, I maybe, maybe tomorrow night Layla comes around. So the tweens are up and I've put like a little food for them upstairs. They're making a mess, but at least they're sat there eating and not causing mayhem. No dollhouses have been smashed yet, which is great. I think this is the first morning they've not actually done that, so well done, kids. I don't know if... Oh, she can't go potty by herself yet. Super, super annoying. But at least they're fed. At least they're fed. Oh my gosh. They, they literally terrify me. They're scary. Like, where are they going? What are they off to go and do? Claire's got work today. So Pot Ali is all on his own. Oh my gosh. What's she going to go do? Please don't, like, smash my beautiful bust here. She's doing little pumps into her pants, which is not great. Ali is gonna have come after, she's gonna come home. He's out for a jog at the moment, being very healthy. Look at him go. Don't know why his hair's blonde there. But he's jogging and then he's gonna have to come home and he's gonna have to uh, give little Emily a bath because she's stinky and she's making me very nervous. Emily's got herself a pretty cool, Emily? So hard to get them, not get them mixed up. Emma's got herself a cute little helicopter to play with. Right, so James is at school. 
But as soon as school's over, he's gonna invite Layla around. Just to see. Just to see if there's anything here. I don't know why the cleaner is just putting all that stuff on that side. I'm not enjoying this. Please, can you fix what's going on here, cleaner? What are you doing, Arthav? Come on, clean it up. We seem to have this really horrible tradition of having people that just won't look after the house and are very annoying. <gasps> look who's home. It's James. Why don't you be nice to your sister as well? Take a, take a picture together. Ask her about her school. Give her a teach her a valuable lesson. I don't even want to know what kind of lessons James is going to be teaching because we all know what he's like now. But he is going to call up little Layla. Send her a little text first and invite her to hang out. He's a straight A student though, so at least he's got that going for him. Oh my gosh, she's here. She's here. She's here. Oh my gosh, James, go say hello. Go, go kick off the evening with a nice little flirt straight away, okay? Oh no, she doesn't look like she's in a great mood. She's kind of slouching around everywhere. He's flirting with her like over Jessica's head. Literally straight over little Jessica's head. And Ali's just come out and like smash the door into everyone like, stop this, you're doing my head in. She, she looks like she's in a really bad mood today, guys. <gasps> she looks really nervous. Oh no, he did something embarrassing. <gasps> he wants to share his insecurities with her. Okay, this could be a good way to kind of learn, learn a little bit more about each other. Jess is getting well involved in this conversation. I don't know why she's here and getting involved, but that's fine. She can, she can get involved if she wants. She likes to be a social butterfly. Apart from now, James is just talking to Jess and sort of leaving Layla on her own. Which is not great. Oh, he's making a little joke about himself. That's awfully sweet. That's nice, James. <gasps> James is feeling very flirty. That means that this could definitely advance a little bit quicker than it would have done previously. But look at this, right in front of his mum and Jessica, just being like, James, what are you doing, James? James, what are you doing? Your mum's right there. She does not need to see this. Can you like take this into the garden or something? Head over here, okay, go here. Oh, she's too far away, okay, okay. Go here, James, go here. Come over here instead. She's sat here watching some TV. She was sat on this sofa, he could try and cuddle up to her and whatnot. Okay, offer her a rose. Oh my gosh, where's she going? No! Guys, I'm trying so hard with the Layla romance, but it's just not really working out, I don't know. She doesn't seem to be that bothered. Look, he's chasing her now. He's like, Layla, come back. <gasps> She's accepted the... Maybe he was just like, oh, James, I'm leaving. Do you want to come outside? Because I have to go. She just didn't want to do it in front of the family. That's what it was. <gasps> Layla is single. <gasps> There's a little bit of embracing going on. <gasps> Are they going to actually have their first kiss? Guys, if he, James is a bit of a naughty one if he actually goes ahead and does this. <gasps> He's going in for it. <gasps> oh my gosh. Two girls. Two girls. James, what are you like? Oh my gosh, she just disappeared straight after it. She literally just disappeared straight after it. And he's running back. He can't believe himself. So we have a love triangle. We have Salma, who he's got the lovebird status with. He also has lovebird status with Layla now as well. She's a barista, he's learnt that. <gasps> Imagine if they worked in the same coffee shop. But there you go, guys. James is a little bit naughty. He has two romances. Look how flirty he is as well. He has two romances going on at the same time. He is a little bit of a cheeky one. So there you go, guys. James has a little love triangle. The twins are proving to be a little bit of a handful, but we're getting there with them. And little Jess is a grade A student who has aspirations of becoming a doctor one day. And poor Claire and Ali are more or less just holding on at parenting four children at once. I did not appreciate how hard this was going to be, but we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. If you guys are enjoying the series, please give it a little cheeky thumbs up. And don't forget to let me know in the comments below. Layla or Salma, even similar sounding names. Which one is it gonna be? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of The Sims. Bye.